Hello Fluffy viewers, Kitsa here with another tutorial on b -tubing. A viewer told me about Spout 2, and I decided to look at how it works. Many have already covered this for BTube Studio, but do you know this also works for 3D BTubers? Well if you don't know how this works, I will quickly go through this. So you can click the link in the description below, it'll take you to the GitHub page, click and download Spout2.exe. Go to your downloads, double click, run anyways, install, finish, then open OBS, add a new source in your scene, click Spout 2, right click and left click properties, and make sure Spot Senders says use first available sender. Composite mode is optional, so what I have is for green screen or mostly for transparent screen. Alright, now that you have installed Spout 2, you probably already know how to activate it in B2 Studio, as I'm showing you right now. If this doesn't work, just close the software and open it again. Pretty easy, right? Now let's move on to the 3D BTuber software. Alright, so starting out with a software that I really actually like, because it is what helped me start out in BTubing. If you don't have a camera, BMagic Mirror is a really good software for beginner BTubers. Alright, so we open up the program and then load in a file from our PC or you can get a Broid file and just use that. So, in order to activate Spout 2 on BMagic Mirror, we will go to Open Settings window. And then just scroll down and you'll see Spout. Click this little check mark and there you have it. You activated Spout 2 on your BMagic Mirror software. And you must also have VTuber, the VTuber Spout activated on your OBS, like I have right here. VTuber Spout is activated, so it'll actually just grab whatever program is using Spout 2. Alright, so I deactivated it because it's like green screen. So if you want to get rid of the green screen and have transparency, you can go to stream streaming, and then right here on window, transparent window, click that, and now it's transparent. And it will back Spout. And there you go. Now you have a good transparent window for BTubing using Spout 2. Pretty easy, right? Let's move on to the next BTuber program. Alright, the next BTuber program will be PC Face. Alright, and here is... <laughs> so here's my first um, BTuber model that I created using Blender. Um, it's Senko-san. But enough about that. Let's go to Settings. General Settings. And just scroll down until you see Spout 2 Image Capture Support. Click the checkbox, and there you go. Now you're using Spout 2 with BC Face. Alright, on to the next BTuber program. Alright, next BTuber program is Binion. So for Binion, once you load in your avatar, you can go to Menu, Settings, and then we'll go to Graphics. And then just scroll down until you see Spout 2 Sender. And Spout 2 Name, be sure to have the name that you have for OBS in here. Alright, and then just click on the box, and there you go. Now you're using Binion and Spout 2. Alright, pretty easy. Alright, and I will go to the next and final YouTuber program that uses Spout. Let's go. Okay, so um, this is Waterdo, and Waterdo already has Spout 2 activated for you. So I'm just gonna show you where you can actually deactivate Spout 2. Alright, so now that I deactivated it, I'm gonna show you right here. Go to the palm, and menu, and then click settings, and then in output, you'll see Spout output. So normally it would say it would already be on yes. So let's click yes and there you go. So yeah, Wadado already has Spout 2 activated for you. So you don't really have to do much, but just showing you where you can actually deactivate Spout 2. And there it is. I have shown you how to get Spout 2 and where to activate Spout 2 on some popular BTuber programs. Some of you may have already seen many people covered Spout 2, mostly for BTube Studio, but it also works for 3D BTuber softwares. 
Spell 2 really helps with running less CPU power from your computer when streaming or recording. So it really helps. And if you're a 3D VTuber, the Imaging Mirror will be the best option for you if you don't have a strong computer or a camera. A good example was me playing some online matches in Marble Rivals. So here is a short clip of before Spell 2 and after Spell 2. Train generation mode. Let's go with that off. Hello, Kiwi. Okay. Okay, let's see if this actually um, slows, um, makes things go a little bit more smooth. Go. Yeah. I do not, I am not running too well with playing Spider Man. Okay, Spider Man is not an easy character to use. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. This is not good. Let me lower down the settings a bit more. <laughs> it's not working. Man, I don't know what's going on here. I'm doing here. I'm going crazy. I just went crazy spider. What the heck happened there? I do not I do not think I did that on my own. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps. If you enjoyed this video, you can help out by hitting that like and subscribe button. Share with others, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, fluffy fluffs. See ya!